Gibraltar Airport is affected notoriously by crosswinds and when that happens airplanes find it very difficult and even dangerous to land. In those situations they will usually always divert to Malaga Airport. But this can cause severe disruptions to passengers with delays of up to six hours as a result of the diversions. Ultimately though, it is down to the pilot whose responsibility it is to ensure the safety of the passengers at all times. GBC contacted air traffic control to find out what the holding and approach policy was for airlines that land in Gibraltar and how many diversions here they've been so far this year. We were told they were unable to comment. GBC then contacted number six for the information, but they referred us to the MOD. The MOD told us they were unable to provide us with the information and asked us to put our questions to the Director of Civil Aviation instead. So we contacted Chris Perkis, the Director of Civil Aviation, who told us, as the regulator with responsibility for safety and security, I have no need for and do not keep the statistics you've requested. Mr Perkis suggested we contact the airlines themselves. So finally, GBC contacted British Airways directly. When questioned about the recent diversion, the airline said, our highly trained and experienced captain took the decision to divert the aircraft to Malaga, as the weather conditions were below British Airways operating limits. However, British Airways chose not to answer our questions about the number of diversions, nor about the holding and approach policies, limiting themselves only to saying, the safety of our customers and crew is always our priority. EasyJet said decisions to hold or divert are made at the request of air traffic control or at the discretion of our pilots, who are highly trained to assess and evaluate all situations. Gibraltar's airport is unique in so many ways and thankfully most of the flights manage to land here without any problems at all. But as to GBC questions on how many flights have been diverted to Malaga so far this year, well, those remain unanswered.